Hi everyone, this is Brandon with Cornhole Ace, and today I'm going to show you how to break in cornhole bags with the Ace Cornhole Bag Breaking Kit. Now your kit's going to come with the Ace Break-In Formula, a Ziploc bag, and all you're going to need is your cornhole bags, access to a sink, and access to a dryer. Okay, so I'm going to place my formula off to the side. I'm going to open up my Ziploc bag. I'm going to place all four cornhole bags into the Ziploc bag. You just want to make sure that they are positioned at the bottom of the bag. Okay, now I'm going to take my Ace break-in formula, take the cap off. It's going to have a seal on it. So let's take that seal off and we're just going to pour our formula into the bag. Okay, we can set this off to the side. Now we're going to fill our bag to where the bags are completely submerged in water. Okay, now I want to close the bag. Now be gentle here, pick it up. Put your hand under the bottom, this way you can hold the weight and you want to shake it up. If you have a lot of air in there, you can set it back down, release some of that air out. It's gonna make it easier and ensure that your bag doesn't bust. So make sure you get that air out. Let's shake it up pretty good. And then you're just going to want to set your bags off to the side for about an hour. Now, if, if you want to leave it for two hours, three hours, or even longer, you can. It will help a little bit breaking them in, but an hour is what I find kind of like the sweet spot as far as conserving time. So in an hour, we're going to come back to this. So we're going to let it sit for now. Okay, now that it's been an hour, we're going to take our Ziploc bag and we're going to drain the formula out. Now there's two ways to do this. You can either unzip the Ziploc bag partially and drain it out this way. That way you don't get all the formula on your hands even though it is supposed to be safe for your hands. But if you have sensitive skin, then you may want to do it this way. All right, the other way is just to go ahead and open it all the way up. I'm going to go ahead and do that. And we can just go ahead and dump the bags out into the sink. Place the bag to the side. And I can go ahead and rinse out each bag one by one. Just trying to get that formula out. I just squeeze the bags. Just getting the fresh water into the bag. And just place them to the side. And then I want to go ahead and put a little bit of water back into my Ziploc bag. Shake this up, get some more of that formula out. And then I can place my bags back inside here. I wanna do that because when I go to the laundry room to access the dryer, I don't wanna drip wet bags all across the house. So I just put them right back in here. Now, if I had left the bags in here the whole time, I would have just wanted to have filled the bag up a little bit with fresh water. I, I would get some of that air out, close the bag again, shake the bags up, and then open the bag partly again. That way we can go ahead and get the rest of this water out. Now you could hold the bag like this, that way you don't get your hands wet. So that could be a nice dry process. But once you have all the water out and your bags back into the bag, we can go ahead and head to the laundry room. So let's go ahead and go. Okay, now that we're in the laundry room, we're gonna go ahead and open up the dryer. We can just go ahead and open up our Ziploc. And we can grab and just toss in 
each bag into the dryer. So here's an extra tip to help with the drying process. You can also add a towel in with your bags. This is going to help get rid of that excess water right away. It'll absorb it. So after your first 30 minutes, you can remove that towel and then continue your next 30 minutes without the towel. It's just going to help aid in the drying process. Also, you can add a dryer sheet in here as well. It helps with static, reduces wrinkles, it helps soften, and it can provide a fresh smell to your bags as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and shut it, turn on my dryer, and we want to do tumble dry, no heat. We don't wanna use any heat at all because depending on your bags, it could cause your bags to shrink and stiffen up, which you don't wanna do. So on my dryer, I actually have an air fluff uh, setting where it's just going to tumble dry, no heat at all. So it's just just normal room temperature air is going to be dr drying our bags as they tumble, which that tumbling is also going to help break in your bags. And then you could set the timer here. I'm going to set it at 30 minutes. And then in 30 minutes, I'm going to check on them and see how dry they are. So I'm going to just go ahead, hit start and I'll be back in 30 minutes. Okay, so it's been 30 minutes. Let's go ahead and take our bags out. Okay, so they are still slightly damp. So they probably need about another 30 minutes in the dryer on tumble dry no heat. But you can already see how flexible these bags are. So I'm pretty excited to be able to get out there and be able to play the bags knowing that they're gonna be nice and flexible and whole friendly to play with. So I'm, I'm going to end this video here because you don't need to see a cycle through this another 30 minutes, but it might be another 30 minutes. It could be an hour. It depends on your bags because all bags could be made differently. So I hope this video helped. If it did, click the like button and subscribe and check us out for more videos to come. All right. Thank you. Bye.